You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife, South Park. Ah, oh, she's extremely upset. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. The fallout from the excellent South Park episode continues. Harry's wife is reported to be extremely upset at the episode, and there is considerable coverage of her reaction. Let us begin with The Spectator, with an article by Cara Kennedy. The headline reads, Harry's wife upset at her depiction in South Park. The Duchess won't watch the episode, mocking her and her husband, sources say. First of all, I don't believe that. I believe that such is her need for information, as part of her need for control, that she will watch it. She might not watch the whole of it, but she would certainly watch it because she wants to know how she's been depicted. Remember, love me, hate me, but never ignore me. And, although it's stated that it's an unfavourable portrayal and she knows that from the trailer, she will still want to take a look because it's about her. She'll still want to take a look because the victim mentality that she has will be screaming, you can use this to demonstrate how everybody is nasty to you. You can use this to show that there is a media pylon once again. Wield that victim card again and again and again. And to do so, the narcissism needs her to have that righteous indignation to what she sees. And therefore, it will compel her to watch it, possibly the entire episode, but certainly will watch a good part of it so that she becomes furious about what she witnesses and therefore is galvanized into action. The spectator continues by explaining, Harry and Harry's wife have yet to publicly speak about last week's episode of South Park, presumably because they don't have the staff left to formulate a press release. A little dig there. But California sources claim that Harry's wife has spent the last few days upset and overwhelmed about how she was portrayed. Now, remember, she won't sit in a room on her own thinking, I'm so upset and overwhelmed. Her narcissism will not allow her to do that. Why? It doesn't achieve anything. Who is she controlling when she does that? Nobody. What fuel is she receiving when she's doing that? None. Where are the character traits? There aren't any. What about the residual benefits? No. And therefore, Harry's wife sitting in a room having come over all the necessary as a consequence of this mauling from South Park isn't going to be the case. She might retire as a pity play to cause the Prince of Pink Pancakes to come running after her, go, oh, darling, it's okay, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a joke. But she's not going to stay in there for days doing nothing. She might retreat as a reaction to prompt a response from people. She will, of course, portray herself externally as being upset and overwhelmed on a repeated basis as part of an elongated pity play to assert control over those around her, and, of course, once again compelled by her narcissism to portray herself as the victim. The article continues, If you've read anything about Harry and Harry's wife over the last three years, you'd think the pair would be delighted with how South Park parried them. Well, not if you understand a narcissist, you won't. The entire episode, titled The Worldwide Privacy Tour, gives them enough fodder to moan for a few more bucks, or Netflix documentaries, or Spotify podcasts. Harry's wife can cry about how she is a victim of misogyny, and Harry can claim that this was all a narrative concocted by the big bad press. In fairness, South Park didn't hold back. Harry's wife is described as a sorority girl, actress influencer victim, by a brand manager during the episode. Later on, Harry has an awakening, realising that their obsession with branding has made them turn ourselves into products. He claims that there will be no more magazines and Netflix shows. We can just live a normal life. However, when he leaves, Harry's wife decides to stay, so the prince exits alone.
Ironically, after the episode aired, rumours began circulating that Harry and Harry's wife were so frustrated with the show that they are now taking it out on each other. There will be substance, of course, in that. Remember, as I've explained in parts passing, that Harry's wife isn't going to contact Trey Parker and Matt Stone directly and say to them, why have you done this to me, you horrible mean men? Instead, what she's going to do is complain about it to those around her. And one of the individuals, of course, will be the Prince of Pink Pancakes. She will complain about the episode, but will also be blaming him. If you hadn't written that stupid book, they wouldn't have been taking the mick out of us in this way. If your family had given us what we wanted, we wouldn't have had to do all of these things which make us look like hypocrites. Remember, her narcissism will never, ever let her admit that she's at fault. And instead, will continue to cause her to blame everybody else but herself. And Harry, being the intimate partner primary source in devaluation, is going to get the brunt of it. Not only will she complain about the South Park creators to him, by way of an indirect assertion of control, she will also blame Harry for the one that's precipitated the piss-taking in the first place, completely unable to recognise her own involvement in this. The article continues, At least their spousal disagreements are taking place in a nine-bedroom, 16-bathroom mansion. No awkward passings in the hallway for them. Sources claim that Harry's wife is annoyed by South Park, but refuses to watch it at all. But for Harry's wife, this couldn't have come at a worse time. The Duchess is said to be obsessed with her half-sister's litigation. That's because her half-sister keeps coming up on the radar in that respect. Harry's wife's half-sister, Samantha Markle, is suing her for defamation following their tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey. The Duchess had previously filed a motion to stop depositions in the case from taking place, but it was dismissed by Florida judge Charlene Edwards Honeywell early this month. Then there's a coronation. Harry's wife and Harry are supposedly weighing up whether they will attend or not. But according to sources close to the Duchess, she feels excluded from the whole thing. Again, paranoia, victim mentality, and the suggestion is better that they leave it then. Aside from all of this, the pair have been made aware that nosy journalists <clears throat> have been poking around Archwell and asking serious questions about what they actually contribute. This comes after the couple released a report tooting their own horn. See a future video released in a few videos' time with my own observations about that report. Sources claim that the friction between the couple stemmed from the negative reaction after Harry's memoir Spare. The BBC published a review that called the Duke's memoir the longest angry drunk text ever sent. James Marriott from the Times of London called it a 400-page therapy session for Mystic Harry. However much money it provided the couple, it wasn't enough for Harry's wife, who is said to be embarrassed by the whole thing and seeking support from mentors. Trouble in paradise? asked the writer. So she's upset and overwhelmed by her depiction. But it doesn't stop there, because next comes the Daily Mail. And in an article by Stuart Carr and Tom Pyman, they report Harry's wife has been upset and overwhelmed by her depiction on South Park for days, after irreverent US cartoon described Duchess a sorority girl, actress, influencer, victim in scathing episode. Insiders claim Harry's wife has been left upset and overwhelmed for the past few days at how she and Prince Harry are depicted in an episode of South Park. The satirical series ridiculed the couple's demands for privacy while on a publicity blitz for the prince's autobiography, Wah! a dig at Harry's recent memoir, Spare, in last week's brutal episode. According to a source in California, Harry's wife spent the last few days upset and overwhelmed over how she was portrayed. The source told the spectator that the Duchess of Sussex is annoyed by South Park, but refuses to watch it all. Earlier today, a royal commentator said Harry and Harry's wife's lawyers are casting an eye over South Park. See parts pass him. It's also been suggested that the broadcast may have legal ramifications with the Sussex's lawyer. The article then goes on to describe what's actually happened in the episode, and therefore it's not necessary to repeat that. But it shows, of course, that the male weighs in on showing her reaction. And as I've explained elsewhere, there would be other people that would think, very good, I've been mentioned in South Park, I've kind of made it, now haven't I? Or, 
there'll be others who go well i'm not best pleased about it but the easiest thing to deal with this is not to give it any more energy i'll just move on and focus on something else but not harry's wife because of the way of her mid-range narcissism she needs to deal with the threat to control and the way that she does so is not by staying in a position of withdrawal and moving on to something else but instead issuing threats about lawyers looking at it and putting out the pity play by way of saying i'm upset and overwhelmed which of course she thinks will engender sympathy from people but instead it just causes people to think serves you right and oh look at you your reaction is just what we've expected from you not only have you deserved this complete roasting that you've got but then your reaction afterwards just justifies the roasting in the first place you can't take a joke you have no sense of humor and once again you play the victim card she is demonstrated to be the very thing that they took the piss out of in the first place she has simply confirmed what they have alleged or commented upon that shows the stupidity of harry's wife she has a low cognitive function despite thinking that she's particularly clever she's not and that her narcissism of course is brilliant at functioning at getting control in the moment but it creates these repeated collateral consequences the schoolgirl errors that i've mentioned which shows that she has that mid-range status so she's been feeling overwhelmed and upset well let's take a quick dive into the comments section below the line at the daily mail to see if people do feel a bit sorry for her as a consequence of her portrayal hacked off 2020 they can dish it out but they can't take it jks yep she's been outed by a couple of comedy geniuses for exactly what she is of course she's upset and overwhelmed my 6d worth take your ego into your safe space carmine pipe dream it's funny because it's true though Oh, Blue Boy 2, South Park was accurate. Hans Girl, you only have yourself to blame, Harry's wife. I don't give a fuck, 21954. South Park absolutely nailed it. It was more like watching a news story than a parody. Aguero! Who cares? Not me and not most of the world. Ken, they want privacy, they want to use the media when it suits them, and complain when it doesn't. They can't have their cake and eat it at the same time. Trakanas, the ever litigant happy couple, are threatening legal action once again. A London, it was absolutely brilliant and touching too with Ike and the Queen. Important announcer, I definitely need to watch this episode. Flower Bunny Love, Sometimes the Truth Hurts, Hans Girls, Didums. Frankie 2112, if they can sue a lot of people, would be suing Saturday Night Live. Get over it, Harry's wife. Trevor Maxwell, brilliant show and watched a thousand more times than each of his self-serving pathetic books sold and Netflix series. Cripes, I don't think Harry and Harry's wife need to hire any more expensive PR companies. I think South Park has just held a mirror up to their ridiculousness and the about waste of money. That's the Daily Mail, but there's more. This time from Red State. Article by Bonshi, South Park savages Harry's wife, and she's not happy about it. South Park, the popular animated and very adult-themed show, has been pushing buttons since 1997. It doesn't matter what one's political or cultural persuasion is, no one is safe from ridicule. And Harry's wife recently found herself in the crosshairs. In the perfectly named episode Respect Our Privacy, South Park pokes fun at the British royals, or whatever they officially are now, for their obsessive, self-absorbed pursuit of media attention while also demanding everyone leave them alone. Apparently, Harry's wife wasn't a fan of the depiction by the Comedy Central show, and she's been left deeply upset and overwhelmed by the ordeal. She's not just mad, though. Apparently, Harry's wife has her lawyers looking over the episode to see if there's anything that's legally actionable in it. Sky News Australia delivered that tidbit on Monday. All you can do is laugh, both at the episode and the reaction. South Park is a comedy show, and they want to sue. Besides, Harry's wife and her husband have been begging for this kind of mockery. They have consistently demanded privacy while crying foul over press coverage. Meanwhile, they simultaneously put out Netflix specials, dishing on their own family, and travelling the world seeking adoration. 
If Harry's wife and her husband really wanted privacy, they've got the money to make that happen. No one made them start a very public feud with the rest of the royal family over supposed racism. Their behaviour is narcissistic at best, if not sociopathic, given everyone they've hurt to advance their own interests over the last several years. When you think about it, a South Park roasting should be the least of their concerns. Once again, Harry's wife demonstrates the limitations of her narcissism by letting it be known that she's extremely upset as a consequence of the roasting. Other than the deluded sugars, nobody's buying it, nobody's giving her any sympathy, everybody else is saying, you thoroughly deserved it. And this demonstrates why they're effectively finished in terms of credibility, because not only have they been roundly roasted by South Park, that the world's media has reported on that with some notable exceptions, that many people have formed the clear view that they deserved it, but then anybody who might have been in some doubt has that doubt removed as a consequence of her reaction to it all, threatening to sue and issuing a further pity play, playing her victimisation once again by saying, I'm extremely upset and overwhelmed by what has happened. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.